Greensboro, North Carolina. The city is ranked 68th biggest in the U.S. and third biggest in NC. Greensboro is home to prominent historical events, an array of beautiful art, and most importantly, amazing food. This city has actually been my hometown for the past 20 years now, and I can proudly say that it's one of the most underrated cities in the U.S. On today's food tour, we explore some of the greatest gems of Greensboro's dining. Welcome to part one of the Greensboro food tour. What's up guys, it's your boy Loon here. Welcome to another video. Today we are in my hometown of Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're gonna be filming the first part of the Greensboro food tour. This is gonna be a two part series with a total of seven spots and one entertainment sponsor. Super excited to show you guys my hometown. I've actually been living here for over 20 years now, and this is the most underrated city in the world, and I can't imagine living anywhere else. Real quick, I wanna let you guys know that I am announcing I am doing a podcast. The first episode of the podcast is gonna release mid-July. Give me a with a subscribe so that you guys can know whenever the first episode releases. We are actually at our first spot of the food tour. It's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be Clutch Coffee. I've actually made a Clutch Coffee video before, and you guys haven't seen that, you guys should definitely check that out. It was a great video, and Darren, the owner, is actually not here right now, but I am gonna roll the interview anyways from the other video, so you guys can kind of check him out. And with that being said, let's start the food tour. For the first spot of the tour, we're at Clutch Coffee Bar. What better way to start off our day than with the most premium coffee around? Clutch Coffee is a modern age coffee brand that started in 2018. They pride themselves on their quick, reliable, and personable service. Being a full drive through coffee bar, they strive themselves on getting orders ready quickly while putting a smile on your face when you grab and go. Sadly, Darren wasn't in town while we were filming this, but here's an interview from our exclusive video with them last month. Uh, my name is Darren Spicer. I am one of the founders of Clutch Coffee Bar. The idea was born back in 2015. I had two partners that I connected with. We all had a passion for people and for coffee. I think the biggest thing that's different for us, our speed is incredible. They take your order outside. We actually have mobile runners who will work down the line and get those orders in faster. So that way we're respectful of everyone's time and get them through as quickly as they can. And then the service aspect of everything. So imagine if you're at you know, a Starbucks or a Dunkin', everything is relatively transactional. It's very impersonal. We really pride ourselves on relationships and making that genuine connection. We try to make your day a little bit better. All right, guys, we are at our first spot of the food tour, and I am so excited to show you guys one of my favorite coffee spots. Then I'm gonna show you guys each and every drink that we ordered here. This is a German chocolate with an espresso shot in it. If you guys do come here and you're a fan of frappes or fraps, however they're pronounced, I don't know, I'll ask a white girl. Hold up, is Lauren, is it fraps or frappes? frappes. Oh, it's okay, frappes. If you guys like frappes out there, order one of the clutch coffee shakes and add an espresso in it. Oh my God, it will change the world for you. Next, we have a Palm Beach energy drink. So they make energy drinks here and how they do it is they use a specific brand of energy drink. However, they add whatever syrup shots to make the flavor of it. And it's so interesting. And Caramello, this is actually the second time we're gonna be reviewing this one. I don't wanna spoil anything, but there's a reason why it's here. But yeah, we added an espresso shot in this one this time. The last drink is the Dream Bar. It's an iced mocha with caramel and hazelnut infused chocolate. All right, let's go with the first one. All right, German chocolate here. So the German chocolate has caramel, chocolate, and coconut in it. Ooh, that's like perfect for me. And it is straight up slush form. I did add an espresso shot, so I'm expecting some taste of coffee in this one. Oh, shit. Bro, what the f***? Okay, that's gonna sound weird because I know there's a lot of people that hate this chocolate, but it's actually my personal favorite. This tastes like an Almond Joy. This is Almond Joy with less almond and more joy. <laughs> there is a less of an almond taste rather it's more chocolate and coconut so like if you took the almond out and you just ate the rest of the almond joy this is what it is it's so good dude i don't know how they make their shakes so good probably sugar i figure and it has coffee in it oh my god if you're a chocolate lover you're gonna love this one and i love coconut and chocolate so i'm gonna give it a 9.8 just because i don't want it to dethrone the caramello really overall good drink i think this is a 10 out of 10 for anyone who's a hardcore chocolate lover so here we have the palm beach energy drink this is a passion fruit and pomegranate energy drink that sounds really interesting and it looks so beautiful you guys can see it's kind of orangish red huge bonus points to clutch coffee for the fact that they write little notes on their labels here i don't I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it actually says, you make the world a better place. And thank you, Clutch. I always kind of knew that, but I needed the reassurance. No, but seriously, so I love that they do little cute things and their service here is amazing. All right, so Palm Beach, you guys didn't know, Florida is actually my fourth favorite state. So <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. It has so much flavor. It just smacks you so hard. I almost feel like my tongue is being violated, but like consensually right off the bat it's a little sour which i love if you guys like sour patch kids this is one for you imagine if a sour patch kid was a pomegranate and passion fruit flavor and then they justified it 
very delicious. I'm gonna give this a 9.2, dude. This is a really freaking good drink. I think this is better than any energy drink that you can buy in a store. If you guys like Sour Patch Kids, man, I'm telling you. Ah. All right, guys, so. <laughs> So for the third drink, we have the caramello here with an espresso shot inside. It's pretty much like a frappe or a shake that has caramel and toasted marshmallow. I'm actually gonna call in a special guest. Okay. She is a connoisseur of both British men and also very sweet. Actually, you don't even like sweet stuff, I'm thinking about it. You like savory stuff. Well, <laughs> she likes this. So we're gonna bring in Michelle Mai Karuchi. I've never been on this channel before. You've never had this before, right? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what we're referencing is that we have toured Clutch Coffee. We haven't tried those two drinks, but we have tried this one. And Michelle, when she was ordering, she was like, I, you have to get this. Yeah. You have to. So we're going to be re reviewing it for you guys. But this time with an espresso shot. Mm. So how are you feeling? I think I need two espresso shots. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, really sweet. The same. It's just good. It's well, just describe really it. Good. Describe it for me. You're reviewing this so one. So it's really good. It's really good. And then it's really sweet. And then it's really good. <laughs> it's is really that a good tasty. description for y'all? No, for real. Michelle's the type of girl to have a Tinder profile and all it says is badass bitch. And that's no. it. There's no bio. I because... gotta be a little bit more humble than that. Okay, so you taste the espresso, but not really. Like if you told me like this was just a regular drink, I would believe it because I drink coffee a lot. So it's not super strong, like more like a treat versus a coffee drink. It is kind of like a marshmallow treat. I described this to you on the last video but it's like those little caramel pieces kind oh of. my god i forgot that you said that and it is identical to that yeah. what, what are those candies called the caramel squares the, the yeah. you know the little caramel mm -hmm. squares that you get in halloween when there's like an old person's mm -hmm. house that's Very really addicting. good i can tell uh, shout better. out to the I'm old people out there i love you guys mm -hmm. because i haven't really been drinking a lot of sweets and eating a lot of sweets lately i feel like it's very sweet it's honestly a little bit too sweet for me okay so 9.5 okay so today 9.5 because does moon and solar yeah. eclipse is out she's an aquarius leo uh scorpio DiCaprio. DiCaprio. <laughs> she says it's too sweet and i think i'm a psychopath because i love sweets yeah so this is fucking perfect this is a 10 out of 10 out of 10,000. wait 10,000 10, out of 10. 000. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. a terrible score but <laughs> i'm getting tired of my cousin she gets on my channel too much so we're gonna bring in the other guests Three, two, one. All right, Nina, welcome to the channel. Have you ever been on my YouTube? No, I'm Nina, and you're watching Loon's channel. <laughs> Wait, should we do it together? Hey, gang, gang. This is Nina. This is my only Indian friend, so I can make Indian jokes. She's the token one. She's pretty much Kelly Kapoor, or... <laughs> <laughs> so she got an order it's the dream bar so i'm gonna let her review it and let you guys know how it is all right friends what does it say you you, you matter. matter you do matter i don't like coffee and i like this really yeah does it taste like coffee mm -hmm. if i was back in college and i needed to stay up late at night but i didn't want to be like crazy I would drink this. You can definitely taste the coffee, but it's subtle. Oh. It's like milky. Oh. Do you taste any of the um, caramel or hazelnut? No. So it's like a milky. I can taste like a hint of the caramel. I think like that's where the sweetness is coming from, but the hazelnut, I'm not. Okay. So what are you going to give it number score? Mm, probably a 7 out of 10. Okay. That's solid. So that's good. solid. Oh, I see what she's saying. He's, yeah. Oh my God. This tastes like when you get a milk tea and bubble tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you like boba, you're going to like this. It's literally milk tea without the boba. We're going to the next food spot here in a little bit, but there was an issue with the original food spot planned because they had something going on and I'll have to reschedule them. So they're going to be in part two of the video. There's still going to be two to three more food spots and also the entertainment sponsor. This is a first in a while that we're going to be doing this, but we're going to be kind of winging it for the next spot. Most of the time I usually schedule appointments with everybody where we interview and do this whole process, but or kind of kind of just wing it go to a restaurant and actually order for one so with that being said i'll catch you guys at where i don't know we'll, we'll see all right guys so we landed at melt kitchen and bar what did you just ask me do you like bloody mary's no what ew gross who likes bloody anything like period oh wait can i ask you a question do you like bloody mary's i do oh my god I'm around psychopath. She just got ID'd because she looks like she's 12. When I'm 50 years old, I'm gonna, gonna look, look like, like a f***ing milk. So... You're gonna look like a saggy Indian person. <laughs> 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 Honestly, 
honestly, half of the stuff I don't want. It's no, bacon, I don't even do pickles, olives. olives, a grilled cheese, and a lime. A grilled cheese? That's a grilled cheese. <laughs> what is going on? We're gonna do a semi food tour in here and actually give it a review. All right, how's the Bloody Mary girls? What does it taste like, Bloody and Mary? Um, I don't drink for the taste, I drink for results, and this would give me great results. What are you giving it? So out of all Bloody Marys, I've had better. Four. Probably a 7.5. <laughs> mm, I've definitely had better. It's like missing salt. It's very right. garlic. Bloody Marys, okay. How's the grilled sandwich? Old. Old? So they put grilled cheeses and pickles on the Bloody Marys. Yeah, it tastes like when you pack a grilled cheese for lunch and then you kind of forget about it and then you eat it later that day. So these are duck fat fries. Does it taste like duck fat? It tastes like regular fries. It's like really oily fries. One out of ten, ten being the best French fries in the world, aka McDonald's. What is it? Five. I'll be the judge of that because I also got duck fat fries. They got like a little, little bit of seasoning on it. I'm gonna go a little higher. I don't think it's a five. I think it's like a six. Oh, what is it again? Shrimp and grits. But these grits are. They just... put cheese in it a lot. Divine. I'm not gonna give it a ten, but I will give it a nine. Dude, this thing is loaded. This is like a grilled cheese panini melt. Um, what were the cheeses again? Cheddar and cheddar. Pepper jack. That looks hot. Really cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> really cheesy. Yeah. Great descriptions. <laughs> what is the cheesy one? Seven and a half. So I got the duck panini, duck something panini. Wow. It has duck in it. Y'all know me and duck. We go way back. If you like duck, you'll like it. If you don't like gamey duck meat, then you won't like it. It's easy, simple, and dry. I'm biased, I like duck, so for that reason, it's an eight. It's very strong in duck taste. You can taste the cheese, but the cheese gets overwhelmed by the duck. It's like a duck sandwich. It's pretty good. All right, shrimp and grits. Mmm, she wins. That's the best one. It's the most unique. I don't even like grits, that's good. That's really good. It doesn't taste like grits, though. It tastes like uh, Panera's broccoli cheddar soup, but like chunky. It's like a chunky version of it. That's good. All right, so this is really quick snippet. We randomly picked the spot. Catch up you guys in the entertainment sponsor, which is gonna be really fun. For the next few minutes of the food tour, we're gonna be at our entertainment sponsor, Round One. Round One is the Japanese-based amusement chain with locations across Japan, Russia, and America. At Round One, they aim to entertain all genders, age, and walks of life with its endless array of activities. With over 370 arcade games, private karaoke rooms, a bowling alley, billers, and even a full-service bar, Round One is sure to have something for everyone. Before we hit the next two food spots of the tour, we're gonna be vlogging our Round One experience. But first, let's meet the GM, Adam. My name is Adam. I am the general manager here at Round One at Four Seasons Mall. The first thing that makes us different would be the size. Here we have about 370 games. So we're a fairly large arcade in the area. And the other thing going along with the arcade is that a lot of our games are directly from Japan. So you get that original feeling, especially if you're someone who's into that type of original feel and you, you want that real arcade feeling. The other thing is that we offer ping pong, pool tables here, bowling, and uh, we got a full bar. What all do you guys provide? You guys provide uh, beer, wine. This is a Japanese company, so we also provide sake. You can get it warm, you know, room temp, however you want it. But we do have mixed drinks. We do have liquor as well, uh, certain drinks. Thank you so much for having us here, man. No problem. All right, team, what are we playing first? Basketball? All right. Apparently, Nina says she could beat everybody. Two, one. Yo, low key at the end, you kind of caught fire. I at the end. No! No! She a runner, she a track star. We're playing in the real three pointer one now. Michelle, you want to try? Oh, oh she God. a baller. She did that. Don't break a nail, please. <laughs> Let's go. Good. Still beat Nina though. Let's go, bro. <laughs> LeBron and James. Oh! Yeah. Cash out. That shit must have been out. hard. There's no way Nina can beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
baller. She's throwing it with all her power right here. <laughs> One last big throw. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Cheers to round one and the food tour. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's cold. I like that. Chug, chug. Dude, what? Oh my God. I thought you dropped out of college, bro. What? Still got it. <laughs> All right, so we had a ton of fun here. Appreciate you guys for watching, by the way. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and also my podcast channel. And all right, I'll see you guys at the next food spot. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog that we had at the arcade. It was so much fun there. I did promise you guys we have two more food spots for the rest of this tour, and we are at one of them right now. We're here at the Piedmont building located in downtown Greensboro. So I'm going to show you guys around. For the next spot, we're at Zaytun Mediterranean Grill. ZMG is a family-owned business that has a heavy emphasis on health, flavor, and maximizing food's nutritional value. At ZMG, they serve Mediterranean foods with locally sourced and completely hormone-free ingredients. Not only do they strive to deliver delicious foods to nourish the body, they also do so without breaking your bank. The average meal here is around $9, which is super impressive compared to other healthy spots. And at Zaytun, they follow the food as medicine philosophy. And boy, I must be because I'm in need of some delicious medicine. All right, guys, so we're here at ZMG and it's so beautiful here. It's such a little cute niche place. I looked at the menu over there. They got everything and anything that you guys need when it comes to Mediterranean food, but I'm not gonna talk too much about them because we're actually gonna meet the owner herself. And with that being said, let's go to the interview. My name is Anna Awartani. I'm the owner of Zaytun Mediterranean Grill. Well, Zaytun started uh, 2005. At the beginning, we started the farmer market because my kids were young and I wanna do something. I was busy uh, with my schooling and I have kids, so I start, you know, doing few things to go to farmer market, and from there, the story of Zaytun started. Everybody oh. liked the food, and they begged us to open Zaytun. So I'm a health coach, graduate from Duke University. I cook with a mission. The chicken, no hormones, no antibiotics. I use organic as much as I can. I use uh, local products, but specifically the hormones and antibiotics does not exist as Zaytun. Wow, that's very different. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I You're welcome. It. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, they hooked it up with the falafel wrap here. Look at everything they have in here. It looks like a very beautiful garden. About to put this garden in my mouth. Should I one bite this? <laughs> I'm gonna do it without dip first. Mmm. Oh my god. Bro. Right off the bat, I noticed that this is super organic. You can taste each and every ingredient that they use in this. Everything is really fresh. The first note that you hit is the fresh vegetables. The tomato comes at you first. That's what she said. And then after that, you can taste the warm falafel. They definitely put a lot of effort in their falafels, I can tell. And it's a lot different than other falafels I've had. It's flattened. I actually think I like that more because it's more crispy all around where everything's kind of compact. I really enjoy that. And on top of that, the wrap that they use is amazing. I'm actually gonna try it with the hummus this time before I give it the full rating. Bro, tell me that doesn't make you wet yourself. I feel like I'm in a, a water park now. Mm. I think the veggies that they use, the pickles, tomato, the lettuce, it complements each other very well. I'm gonna give it a 9.1. This is really fun. But dude, and the great thing about this too, I, I'm not gonna feel too full after this, even though it's a fried falafel. Everything is fresh. You almost feel like I can run a marathon right after this. I'm gonna dip it in the tzatziki. Oh, fuck. hold up. So it's a 9.1 by itself, but with the tzatziki, dude, that's like a 9.6, bro. It's already amazing and then with the tzatziki it's what like the? in the top what is this oh my god dude luke is that what? luke dude oh my god dude, Marvin, how, are up, how are you how have you been man <laughs> this isn't planned at all what would you like to join the food tour man yeah man it's a good thing i brought my mic oh, <laughs> what are you doing here i just decided i wanted some great mediterranean food went to my favorite spot in the borough <laughs> This is so like an ad now. <laughs> no, but uh, we actually got Marlon Guevara. Hey. Guevara. Is it Guevara or Guevara? Menendez. Menendez. No, it's Guevara. Oh, so, <laughs> this is Marlon Guevara. So what did you get here? So you got. I got the steak melt. It has. Uh, it's a steak and cheese. It's a steak and cheese, bro. But better. 
You gotta give it an honest review, okay? Okay. I'm excited. Steak and cheese are my favorite. They're the best subs. To be Steak honest. and cheese? Yeah, bro. Look at that. Mm. That's the nicest meat lips I've seen in a while. <laughs> I kind of want to try it with that. Try it after. Alone, the tzatziki here is a 10 out of 10. If it's just straight up tzatziki. Oh. Wow. That was so creamy. It was so creamy, dude. The bun, nice mm. and steamed. You know, you ever been somewhere and you got like super <coughs> crunchy bun? Not the case. Perfect. Damn. I think there's supposed to be like an avocado mayo. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a dip with the tzatziki next. Oh. You guys didn't know, Marlon here is actually a male model. He does a lot of feet pictures. So if you guys slide in his DMs, he will be willing to charge you guys. You know, I'll, I'll give you guys a discount code. Uh, discount code LOOMP10. Yeah. 10% <laughs> off. $300 starting price. <laughs> <laughs> would you actually do it if someone hit you up? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I would too. <laughs> How was that? It's good, but it's not as good as just straight up. Oh, wow. So this one is just it's perfect without yeah, it. Yeah, because it clashes a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it right? does clash. So give me a score out of 10. I can't say I can think of a better one I've had. And I mean, honestly, this is just good. Wow. It's really good. Like, I don't know. Does 10 out of 10 sound fake? I don't oh, know. But that's what 10 I'm out of 10? Wow. Like, oh my God. I mean, I can't think of a better Philly cheesesteak I've had. Yeah, I'm going to get a bite out of this one. Yeah, more. you got to, bro. It's but this is as good as a Philly cheesesteak can get. Steak we use is grass-fed steak. Oh, uh, grass-fed steak. That has to be the reason. It's just for, we put on the menu for people who come with. We don't, bro. We don't like Greek food and shit. Oh my God. Dude, it is really creamy. Holy shit. That's good, dude. That was really good. It's on here. I see why you gave it a 10 out of 10. Last thing to review, I'm pita chips. Y'all gotta check this place out. If you guys are in Greensboro, I'll be back. dude. Yeah, I'll be back too, bro. I've been looking for healthier alternatives whenever I'm get getting out. Okay, so the pita chips are soft. Did. It's like crunchy and then soft. Mm -hmm. A mixture of both. These are solid. I like the seasoning on them. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5. It's just different than any pita chip I've ever had. It's really good. If you guys are in Greensboro, North Carolina, you have to come here. Just not only alone for the food, but you gotta meet the owner. She's great. The owner's son, awesome. The upstairs area is super cute. It reminds me of like, I'm in a, like a cafe in yeah. Europe. I'm gonna say both both of these are must guess. Their, their pita chips are good. They're all right. Yeah. But uh, steak melt is for sure. I'm going to give it an overall score of a 9.4. Might be my favorite Mediterranean place I've toured on a food tour, if not tied to Donner. Definitely check them out. All their links and everything will be in the description box down below. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys in the next food spot. Any final words? <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I'm just like, Eating. I'm going in on food tour. The, <laughs> yeah, right. the whole time he's done, he's just like, I don't care, bro. I'm over. <laughs> For our final spot of part one of the food tour, we're at Heavenly Buffaloes. Heavenly Buffaloes is essentially the mecca of chicken wings. With locations in Durham, Chapel Hill, and Greensboro, Heavenly Buffaloes strives to fulfill the empty hearts and stomachs of all the true foodies around. They also offer over 20 flavors for their wings. And oh, did I mention that they also have bomb vegan options as well? Yep, aside from the classic bone-in and boneless, they also provide a soy-based vegan alternative. I'm excited to see what all the hype's about, but first, let's meet Bo, the operations manager. My name is Bo Sayre. I'm the operations manager of Heavenly Buffaloes. The original one started in Durham, North Carolina, 2014. We opened up this Greensboro location last year, right around this time, about two weeks before COVID hit. So it's been an awesome year. The big thing is we cook everything to order. We don't have anything sitting around. You get the order in, we drop it. Our wings are juicier. Uh, the way we do it is we steam the bone-in wings first, so they are fully cooked before we ever even drop them in the fryer. From there on, it is a five-minute little uh, cook time. No heat lamps. Everything's cooked the order it's about quality all right man well thank right. you for having me here man hey thank you very much all right guys so we are at heavenly buffaloes in greensboro we're gonna bring in the guest from zmg marlon come on in hey, hey what's up man <laughs> Okay guys, so they have three types of wings here. I loved how condensed their menu is. Yeah. It's super easy. So we got bone-in, boneless, and vegan. And then after that, you have a selection of sauces here and you can even mix and match, which is really cool. For your waffle fries, you can use any dry rub sauce on any of the waffle what fries, which is awesome. Anyway. For this waffle fry here, we have the heavenly buffalo sauce. And then this one is cinnamon sugar, bro. That's gonna be fuego. Oh, no. For the bone-in, we just have hot. They said that it was actually really spicy. We got ranch. Yeah, we, we do have ranch, I think. Yeah, we got some ranch. We got some ranch right there. And then for the bone list, we have, what did he? Hot what did we, again. It was some hot uh, one. It was like hot mixed with something like that. Back a, to back hot. Oh my God. 
Welcome Guys, back. Legolas. <laughs> what's good, Legolas, dude? what's up, man? It's the Legolas Horseman himself. We have a special guest here. What are the odds that we run into two special guests? Come on, hop in. It feels so special. All right, so we got Zorin here. We have Marlin here. Zorin, what did we, what is this one? Garlic Parmesan mixed with the hot sauce. We're gonna do collective scores just to save a little bit of time. Also, first impression of this place, it's super awesome. I love the color scheme. I've walked down the street many times, but I never came in because I was always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so these are vegan wings. Oh my god, whoa, hold up. This looks like real chicken. It looks identical to real chicken. It feels like a chicken on it, actually. Yeah. That's pretty good. I can tell there's a little bit of soy in here. I'm surprised at how they got the texture. The texture's really good. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind eating that at all. Actually, the texture might be better than a regular chicken nugget. If you would have given me that and not said anything, I just would have thought that was yeah. chicken. Like real chicken, yeah, yeah. Dude, if you're a vegan out there, shout out to Mitch. You would love this. So barbecue, classic, nothing offensive. I think it's just like the very classic flavor. It, it's very subtle. It's very subtle and solid. What are we thinking? Our collective score is gonna be a 7.5 out of 10 for this one. If you're a vegan, that's the darn closest thing you can get to a real chicken right there. Garlic Parmesan, boneless wings. Cause this is where we're getting to real territory. Look at that. Ready, Dink it. Dink it and sink Dink it. Boys. Oh, you watched it. Ah, go. GMM. <laughs> Bro. That was a good wing. That was a good wing. It's spicy. It's a little toasty. I mean, it definitely has a very strong garlic taste, which is exactly mm -hmm. why I got it. I mean, for me, that was awesome. Bro, Zoran puts garlic on everything, bro. <laughs> he puts it it's on his... secret sauce. He puts it on his cake. He puts it on his girls. It's not too spicy. It's not the crazy. The Parmesan yeah. stands out as well. I feel like usually when yeah. I get like a garlic Parmesan, it's more garlic than Parmesan. It is yeah, really Parmesan-y. Yeah. It's not too spicy. It's not gonna make it like cry, but it does have a kick to it. What's everybody feeling in terms of score? I like that compared to the last one. I'll give it an eight. Like it's a I'm solid win. I think an eight. It's a I'm solid win. Eight. We're gonna give it a collective score of one, two, three. Eight. 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 One, two, three. Eight. 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 <laughs> well, it's kind of better than most places because you know you'll get like a, a six piece and like they're all be different sizes here it's by weight what i gotta say is i'm not a boneless guy I'm so me giving an eight is that's like a nine in regular world you're a boneless guy i mean i don't mind chicken is chicken it's just you know i'm fat bro i just want to throw it in my mouth just just it down. Down. i don't got time to chew all right down the bone. classic hot buffalo wings this is what i'm here for let's see what they got let's go all right let's go boys This is quality chicken meat. Was, That's the first thing I was, I was gonna just say. That. You've been reading my mind all day. What's going on, bro? Bro, <laughs> we're lovers. Why y'all making me jealous, bro? <laughs> mm. This I will say is hotter than the last one. Yeah. Significantly. What kind of hot is this? The quality of meat is what stands out. This thick meat. I don't know how to describe it, but like, it's not old. <sighs> Wait, this one's spicy. That's hot. Ah. Spicy. That one hurts your feelings. This, in my opinion, this is the highest one. But that's to me. I agree. What are y'all feeling? The chicken just tasting better, not, not the sauce. Yeah, the sauce. I think it's the chicken itself is what sets this one apart. Put that this on nine. Nine, what are you at? Eight? Eight and a half. Eight and a half? I'm at a nine and a half. So we're gonna give this a collective score of a nine. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> Considering the fact that you're not vegan, you gotta get the bone and wings. It's really good, and I'd actually go out of my way just to get some good wings here. When I first bit into it, I looked at Zorn, I was like, this tastes as good as your meat. <laughs> <laughs> when they described how it was made, I can kind of notice it now. Yeah. How it was cooked and then fried. Yeah. Heavenly Buffalo dry rub on the waffle Nutri fries. Extra season. All right, dink it. Sink it. That had a lot of flavor. That was good. So much seasoning. Oh, it's good. Bro. I really enjoyed that. You know. How does it compare to Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A is cream of the crop, you know. I wouldn't compare it to Chick Fil A, but you know how like when you have the fries on the side and you have your wings, and like after you finish, you still have like the sauce on the bottom, and you can mm. and you get it on your fries. Yeah. Exactly what that reminds me. It kind of tastes like that. I like that. Well, yeah, they use the same exact seasoning as the dry rub wings and it's, it's good. I, I haven't really seen many places that offer that option. I might say that's the second best thing. I could see like you're drunk, you're hanging out with your friends, you're like, yo, let me get some of those. 10 out of 10 when you're drunk. <laughs> I can't say I've had better waffle fries. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'll, I'm fine with giving it a nine. I like Where a little more potato inside of my waffle fries, but- The flavor on that was so good. Though. I'll give that one a nine out of 10 too. 9.2, so uh, 9.1. 9 All right, waffle fries, you guys are getting a 9.1. <laughs> I'm excited about these. So they offer an option where you guys can get cinnamon sugar on your waffle fries, your sweet potato ones. I'm a huge fan of sweet. Got a big old oink. Quadruple <laughs> fry. 
Bro, that's, that's my favorite one. That's the favorite thing out of all of these. Straight up favorite? Straight up. Really? Right off first bite. I feel like it's perfectly seasoned. I'm gonna give this a 10. This is a personal score, 10 out of 10. The perfect waffle fry. I can't really say that I like one more than the other. I'll have to give it a nine as well. This one on its own is better than that one on its own. Mm -hmm. We have like something to dip this in. Like I've been to uh, places where they do like honey. Oh my like God. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. We should recommend that for them. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. It's worth a shot. Like an apple cinnamon sauce. That, or... that might be what this is. This might not be barbecue sauce. It's barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's barbecue sauce. Uh, that's that a no for me. That was wrong. If I had to get one over the other, this one, 9.5. Okay, so we're going to land right out at a 9.5. One, two, three. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 9.